day all and welcome back. So today let's see how we can manage calendar in Odo 40. So uh, an informative and planning calendar will provide the companies to have an effective schedule management and planning to, done, uh, to be done effectively in the various aspects of company operations. So Odo platform has allocated separate calendars module which allows users to plan activities, schedule meetings, task and operational aspects allowing users manage monitor and control the company operations effectively with time efficiency and productivity so this module allows us to plan uh, schedule activities with in company or outside company operations okay mm, here we have our calendar module So here um, we can see this is a calendar view uh, where we can view the meeting schedule based on day, week, month or year. Uh, so from here we can just click on this button to move uh, that is to previous month and see the scheduled meetings. Uh, so if you just click on this you can move forward to uh, view the meeting schedule. In future okay so from here we can see the current uh, month and year then here we can see the responsible person of this calendar then the total attendees so when you click on everybody's calendar we can view all the scheduled meetings and for this calendar we also can uh, that is, we can view meetings as list view also. So, we can see the subject of meeting, start date, end date with time, then total attendees of meetings, location of the meeting, then the duration of the meeting. And we can also create new meeting, just clicking on this create button or when you come back to calendar view, from there we can also plan meetings. So, here um, I can plan uh, meeting for okay. here we can add a summary meeting with client I can create it or edit the meeting so you can see the meeting is created And there, uh, there is also various filtering operations available by default and customizable ones which would allow users to filter out data to review the uh, one required. So from here we can filter these meetings by my meetings uh, according to date. Then we can also uh, save this to uh, add to favorites or add to dashboard Google spreadsheet. And then um, as we have created one meeting, so when you click on this meeting, you can see uh, the date, then the total duration, then attendee status. So uh, you can see the status is needs action, then the responsible persons, attendees, and you can see set the privacy. Okay, so from here, we can change this to accepted, declined, or uncertain, and we can also edit this meeting from here. So uh, when you edit here, we can select more attendees. That is, we can add more attendees to this meeting. Then here we can add meeting details, including starting date, duration. So from here, we can change the duration of the meeting. So 45 minutes. Then we can uh, add this plan all day. Then here we can add tags of the meeting, uh, okay, internal meeting or customer meeting. Then here we can set reminders. So notification or email will be sent to remind about the meeting. Then we can set location and add description of the meeting and you can save it. So this is how we edit. And we can also see some option uh, whether to recurrent meeting. And we can also uh, change the privacy to, of the meeting. That is whether it is available uh, view by everyone or only me or only internal users then we can show this time as free or busy okay so this is how we schedule meetings in calendar module 
and then here we can find option to add more attendees to this meeting and also can see two more options so this will is these two options are really helpful that is we can synchronize our calendar with google and also with outlook so just click on that and here we can see uh, a, a message shown that google synchronization need to be configured before you can use it so when you click ok you will be directed to the settings and there you can configure uh, the details required for synchronizing with google or outlook okay so here you can see option to add client id client secret to synchronize with uh, synchronize your calendar with google calendar and for outlook also you can see option to add client id client secret to synchronize with outlook is already enabled so that's all about calendar module in order 14 community